Somebody, the Lord is solving an issue in your life today. Say, the Lord is bringing life to every area of my life where there is death. The man brought God bread of first 20 loaves of barley bread and new riding grain knapsack. And he said, give it to the people that they made, the prophet Elijah. But the servant said, how shall I sell 20 bread before 100 men? The prophet said, give it to the people that they may eat. For thus says the Lord, they shall eat and have leftover. So he set it before them and they ate and had leftover according to the word of the Lord. Who multiplied bread and fish? You can see that everything the prophets were doing, they were talking about the Messiah. Coming of Jesus is an interpretation of everything the prophets were doing. So meaning if there's a death in your life, you are receiving life today. Alright, what did I say death means? Absence from a realm. That is what death means. So if you say something is dead here, yeah? it's not that it's not existing. It's not only existing in this realm, it is existing in that realm. That's what death means. So there's nothing God creates that dies. So when the Bible said Adam ate the fruit and he died, it didn't mean Adam was not existing again. It means Adam was not existing in God's realm again. There was a disconnection. He died to God and he became alive on earth. So the fall of man brought a disconnection to divinity. But man was existing. Only that man could not exist in God's realm again. But he was existing in a realm. He had life in a realm. Whenever you give your life to Christ, you have, you have died to this realm. And now you are not connected to God. When you say, my father, my grandfather died, it's not that he's no longer existing. He's existing on that realm, not this realm again. Life does not end. Life transits. Scientists said energy cannot be created nor destroyed, but it changed from one form to another. That is how life is. Like this, your life now, it does not end here. When you say somebody died, it transited. It's existing in another realm. So your grandparents are existing in another realm, but they are not existing in this realm. So they are dead. That is the meaning of death. Sometimes when you look at your life and there's an absence of something you really need, something you are in need of and you don't have it, there's death in that area. It's not that it's not existing, but it's not existing yet in your realm. Let's take for example somebody that was poor. When he was poor, it was not that riches does not exist. Riches was existing, but not in his realm. The day he breaks through, riches have come to his realm. That is the meaning. Someone that is sick and is not yet healed. It's not that healing does not exist, but healing is not existing in his reign. Now you see the book of Job 14 from verse 7. Those kind of deaths that are situation-like, that are caused by situation or condition, what you need in those kind of deaths is called hope. Because those deaths are not permanent. It's only temporary. That's why the Bible says there's time for everything. And there's a season for every purpose. So whatsoever is not in your life now is only for a season. What you need is hope to wait. Some people have ended their life because of conditions and situations. That is not existing now does not mean it won't exist. Somebody is going to come for you. So you don't use a permanent response to a temporary situation. That is if you have hope. So Job said in Job 14 verse 7, For there is hope for a tree if it is cut down. That is a condition. That's why the Bible said, The righteous man may fall seven times and he will rise again. Those are conditions I'm talking about. Somebody, the Lord is speaking to conditions today. People say no condition is permanent. It's very true. That is when hope is involved. Yes, when hope is involved. No matter how hard it is, if hope is there, that condition is not permanent. Fall of man, God did not see it as a permanent issue. He see it as a condition, as a situation. That's why anytime Jesus came to where someone died, he said the person is sleeping. Meaning, sleeping is a condition, is a situation. It's not finite. It doesn't say he's dead. When you say something is dead, it means it has ended. Though his roots may grow old in the earth and his thumbs may die in the ground. He said, but yet at the scent of water, it will board and bring forth branches like a plant. I decree upon somebody's life. I see a situation that looks as if you have been cut down. I see the scent of water in you now. That water is the river of life. It's the living water. It gives life to everything that is dead in your life. I decree upon your life. Life has come in the name of Jesus.